Hey everybody, Chrissy Vane here, and I am here to do your weekly reading. So collectively, um, the energy has been super interesting this week. A lot of people have been putting down boundaries and setting up structures of resonance for the future. Um, when I say resonance, I mean that we're all vibrating at different levels and you pull people into your existence that are meant to be in your bubble. Um, and then sometimes it's a uh, repel type situation where people are being repelled from your bubble. Um, I think in the future, as we are moving towards more cohesiveness, more co-creation, um, those polarities are going to get much more obvious than they have been in the past. So I think in the future, we're looking towards huge resonance and people are really reevaluating different people, places, things in their life right now, because let's just admit it. The last two years has been fucked. And I think that it really made a lot of us go, okay, well, things can change overnight. So it's time for me to live my best life. And so I think a lot of us have used that time to upgrade, to make our lives better, to build something that really matters. And then some of us, is, am I having a crazy hair right here? Yeah, I am. Um, I think some of us have just sat around and done nothing with the energy, which is not good for anyone. However, things can always change. You can always uh, start over, start fresh, start your healing. This week we had Chiron square up with the moon. Chiron and astrology, and I'm not an astrologist, but I follow it very, very um, deeply just for my own transits and to stay on top of things and to uh, understand my own energy better. Um, so Chiron squared up with the moon this week, which was a very, very powerful um, lineup because Chiron is our largest wound. So I was dealing with a few clients this week. One of them was um, Chiron in the third house. Third house is communication, uh, local community, neighbors. Uh, mine is in my seventh house of close relationships. So you can look on astro.com or astrology cafe. There are several websites where you can just Google your natal chart pending. You have your right time within four minutes. I can always um, assist with that as well. Again, I'm not a professional, but I can help people with, um, you know, what's going on in their lives. Uh, and so we were hit with that really hard transit this week. And it's like, you know, all of a sudden it's like, whatever was, you know, you're hiding or you're not wanting to deal with or you're just sort of like brushing under the rug it's like all of a sudden like right in front of you and the moon is your emotion so you cannot like hide from it run from it sweep it under the rug um and it was a great time to heal it i always believe in facing things forward and head on and dealing with it so for my client slash friend who was who has Chiron in the third house, we decided she should journal and put it out there since like third house is community. So I was like, I know you're probably fearful of putting your writing or your journalings out there, but the world is your muse. And the more that you can get past being fearful of judgment or whatever it may be, um, the more that you can heal that Chiron um, energy, which again is our biggest wound in this lifetime. So, um, that being said, we're moving towards relationships that are of resonance now. And we've been, this has been like a two year thing, but the heavy transits in April with the Aries new moon, which Aries is like me, 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 I am. It's the start of the astrology or astrological new year. And it's the baby of the Zodiac. So it's the, I am of the Zodiac. And it's like, I am going to work on me. I'm going to work on my healing. And it's not to take away from anyone else. It's just because I am being called to that right now. So I'm going to try to make these a little shorter every week just so that I can keep everyone, um, everyone's attention span. So let's go to the cards and see if we missed anything. But right now we've got resonance in relationships, resonance in job, resonance in jobs, pulling, uh, and repelling vibrationally who and what is good for us and what is not and stepping into our power and not letting the emotions and the, 
the emotions and the baggage of other people hold us down anymore because really at the end of the day we can only be responsible for ourselves and we cannot be mad at anybody else if they are dragging us down we have to look in the mirror but we also have to look at are we setting boundaries are we um yeah are we boundaries is really the biggest thing are we setting boundaries where boundaries need to be uh lied down so I read from the Sacred Rebels deck. This is my favorite deck um, because I like being a rebel and I've never done anything the way anybody told me to do it. So um, this is a deck. I have an Aries moon. So this is a deck that's always uh, called to me deeply and I've been reading it from it for a long time. Okay, so collectively, what's going on in the universe? Did we miss anything? We're gonna pull a couple of cards. Okay, I pulled three. So, after the storm. Okay, so, so many of us in the last few years, I and I always say this to clients that I work with, people that I come across in my life, healing sucks. Healing is not easy. Healing is one of the bravest things that you can do is to face those shadows and face those demons. It's one of the bravest things that you can do in your life. So, yeah, as you're going through it, it's brutal and it sucks. And, you know, but when you come out of the other end of that, you're like, wow, I'm a changed person. I'm a better person. My life is better. And look at me. I'm, I even maybe broke some generational cycles or some generational curses that were afflicting me in my life. And, you know, I'm 25 years old, I'm 35 years old, I'm 45 years old, and they have been holding me back for so long. But I ran right into the tornado, I ran right into the storm, and I was willing to face those head on. So where did that put me? That puts me back at my inner trust, trusting myself. Know, know thyself know thyself. If you know yourself, then the whole world will know you because it's a feeling in your heart. And people are called to that. People are drawn to that because that's such a brave thing to do that a lot of people don't have that within them or they're too scared to bring it out. So when you trust yourself and you know yourself, oh my God, you become so powerful. So by facing the storm, by going into your own shit, you learn to know thyself again. So you are stepping into your power. You are stepping into the world fully um, integrated. Uh, we're always healing. We're never completely healed, but integrated and freaking powerful. And now you're becoming like a magnet to people, places, things of resonance that are going to enhance your life and make it so much better because you were willing to be brave. We pulled this one last time. Interesting, uh, interestingly enough, new birth, guard it vigilantly. Remember that not everyone, because humans by default can be selfish, especially if you're, they are not on the journey of self-awareness and the path of mastery, they can be selfish. So whatever you're birthing into the world, you have to guard that with your heart and guard it vigilantly. We talked about this last week. Uh, there's 50 some cards in this deck. It's really interesting how you'll pull the same ones if the same message is coming up. So whatever you're building, it's, it's still in its infant and it's sort of baby stage. Remember we're in Aries season. So you want to go, go, go super fast and maybe pull a lot of people in. Really think about who you're pulling into your circle and who uh, should have that honor. Who should be allowed in your inner circle and um, who should be allowed to share energy with you. When a butterfly is in its cocoon, it needs to be kept safe and it needs to have the time to grow into what it's supposed to grow into. That cannot be done overnight. So you have to nurture it, nurture it, nurture it, and, um, and take care of it and also take care of yourself and allow it to grow. Things don't grow overnight. It takes a baby in a mother's womb really 10 months to grow and to become a full 
you know, in its full maturity, ready to come to the earth side. So new birth, guard it vigilantly. Watch who you're allowing into your, to your inner circle. I will see you next week. And I do take pride. Oh shit. I thought it was going to cut me off at 10 minutes. I was trying to finish up. Okay. So I do do private zoom sessions. I do do private coaching and, um, private guidance. I am a holistic life coach and a consciousness guide, an intuitive reader. Um, so I were, I've been working with people a long time on how to become their best selves. However, it really helps when I'm becoming my best self because, you know, you have to live it to do this for a living. So I've been making really brave steps lately to kind of step into the next phase of my life and then that way I can guide others to do the same. Um, so remember in the next week or so before we do this next, you know, before we do this next one to trust yourself. Like, you know better than anyone. You know, I never ask anyone what they think of me anymore. And, you know, in the wrestling business, you're supposed to be like, oh, like, what did you think? Like, did you like that? Like, I haven't asked anyone those questions in so many years because, frankly, I don't care. If I know if I did well or if I didn't do well in a performance or a speaking engagement or whatever it may be. And I don't ask anyone their opinions anymore of myself unless it's a trusted friend who is on the same resonance as me. And I know that there's no type of um, feeling any type of way um, about me. So really trusting in yourself. I feel like you've already been through the storm and you're coming out of that now like so many of us and we're really stepping into that power and airy season. But with that new birth, just remember to uh, guard it. It's still not at full fruition yet. So guard that shit. Um, be careful who you let in and still continue just to work on thyself and to know thyself and um, you'll just continue to rise up and above and your life will just continue to get better and better. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. If you'd like to uh, schedule a private session or a private zoom with me, you can reach out to me. My website is linked in my bio, um, or you can DM me or email me Chrissy at yahoo.com. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.